Hello zombies! I am a child. Today, we are going back to the 90s. Ow, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Today we're going back to the 90s because I saw my friend Daniel get a palette that I had to have. You might have seen it. They're selling them at Hot Topic right now. Still not sponsored by Hot Topic. It's a Nickelodeon eyeshadow palette in the form of a cassette tape. Half y'all probably don't even know what that is, do you? This is amazing. I didn't notice this yet. Okay, so on the back, there's crumb, and he's actually got swatches of the eyeshadows on his arm. It feels real cheap. The shadows don't look super promising. It's made of cardboard. I haven't tried it yet. I think this is about 20 bucks, I think. But we're gonna see what this thing can do. I'm going to play in it as though I was a child. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make it look good, but I'm gonna pick colors that are just straight up what I would have worn as a kid. And because, you know, I'm such a sucker for the 90s, that is why I am head to toe decked out in Nickelodeon gear. Yes, head to toe. We got Nickelodeon color scrunchies up in here. The only thing cooler than pigtails in the 90s was a zigzag part pigtail. I got Rugrats on my shirt, Reptar, which will probably be my second dog's name. I got Nickelodeon pants. Hi, Ripley. I got Ren on this sock. I got Stimpy on this sock. I am ready. So, I'm gonna helicopter these bits the last thing I do. I'll work on that. Let's get into it and see how it goes. We got Hey Arnold, Rugrats, Ren and Snippy. On the back we got Cat Dog and I Real Monsters. Oh boy, my back already hurts. Okay. I'm old. I am not a child anymore, but today I'm a child. Inside we got Rocco's Modern Life, more Rugrats, Hey Arnold, Cat Dog, Ren and Snippy. These are the beauteous colors. Let's see what colors we got here. We got I'm Beautiful. I don't know what that's from. You idiot! Which is obviously Ren and Stimpy. He loves me? Not, not sure. All dolled up. Is that for Cynthia? I don't know. Smashing is the Wild Thornberries. Rar is Reptar. Oh, Fish Sticks is Rocco's Modern Life. Football Head, obviously Hey Arnold. We got I'm the Boss, I'm guessing that's Angelica. And Hi Ho Diggity, which is Cat Dog. I'm gonna dip into a little bit of, oh, Fish Sticks as a base. It's like a, it's like a pale human color. Perfect. I'm not using the brush it comes with because I don't think we would accomplish much with it. My favorite show of the 90s, without a doubt, was Ren and Stimpy because I don't think it was meant for children and yet somehow that slid past everybody. I mean, it was, it was meant for children, but have you seen it? That is one scandalous child's TV show. My favorite Ren and Stimpy episode is probably the one where they give you a rundown of evolution. Like, it's just no big thing. Ren and Stimpy was going somewhere. They were teaching us things in between close-ups of boogers and butts. You gotta do what you gotta do. This is actually quite creamy. Oh, fish sticks. I'm impressed. Next, I'm going to take All Dolled Up. That's our pink color. And I'm going to wipe that in our crease. I probably watched Rugrats the most, even though it wasn't my favorite, but it was always on. I did identify quite well with Angelica anyway. That's a joke. I was kind of bossy though. My favorite episode of the Rugrats was probably the one where it mimics It's a Wonderful Life, the movie. Tommy's like a little garbage baby. Okay, this color's not bad. I'm surprised already. Pink and purple were my favorite color combo as a kid. So naturally, that is exactly what we're gonna do today. Have we found a way to make a cat dog yet? Asking for a friend. Cat dog, human centipede four. I think I read that the human centipede two is in black and white because it was too gory to get an R rating in color. So they just took all the color out so that you couldn't see all the blood and shit and stuff. Let's go back to the, the PG version of this tutorial though. Demonetized. All right, this doesn't blend great, but the color payoff's nice. Gonna use a little more O fish sticks to blend out the top of this. Words I never thought I'd say. Now I'm going to take I'm the Boss, which is the purple, and I'm gonna put that on the outer corner of my lid. Whenever friends ask me about shows that I might have watched in the 90s, I usually just tell them that if it wasn't on Nickelodeon, I didn't see it, because that's true. I didn't watch any other channel as a kid except Nickelodeon, ever, except for Recess. I made one exception for Recess on Saturday morning. But like, any show not on Nickelodeon, Saved by the Bell, never saw it. Full House, never saw it. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, never saw it. I know, shame on me, a Philly native. Don't know the theme song, couldn't sing it to you. I know the first line, that's about it. 
in South Philadelphia, born and raised. Just kidding, I know it's West Philadelphia. Don't freak out in the comments. All right, this definitely doesn't blend out the nicest of any eyeshadow I've ever used, but considering it's from Hot Topic, it's not so bad. Then I am going to take, you idiot. It's like a maroon color, I guess. And I'm going to put that in the crease, outer part of the crease, on top of our pink. It's turning into quite the Valentine's Day look. You idiot is probably my favorite one. Well, I think I'm gonna put on the boss, the purple again. I'm gonna put that underneath of my lash line. I like to think of myself as a pretty, uh, you know, capable, smart adult. Like, not easily fooled by marketing. But when it comes to 90s stuff, I'm the worst. I walked into Hot Topic to buy this palette, saw the shirts and the pants, and then I had to have them, and then I needed to find socks, so I went to another store just to find <laughs> Nickelodeon themed socks because if it has 90s stuff on it, especially Nickelodeon, I need it. I'm one of those annoying 90s kids I know and I wasn't even born in the 90s. All right. I think that's that's pretty good for the eyeballs It kind of just looks like one one big color But it's not it's like two big colors. Actually, let's see. Let's try some I'm beautiful Right in the center mid lid. It's like a white sparkly shadow Don't know if the sparkles will show up. Yeah, you can see them a little bit. Let's put some of that down my nose. Get some cheek highlight. Oh yeah, girl. Who would have thought Nickelodeon should be making highlighters? We did not highlight in the 90s though. Ooh, ooh, that's too much. Oh well, it's on my face already. I need mascara. Cynthia, she's a really cool dancer. Cynthia, will you to the groove now? I saw your face there, wow! Right then I took a bow. Now we be together, no, just you and me. That's the beauty of eternity. Darling, you broke my heart in pieces on the floor. So tell me why should I break some things of yours? I'll smash your lamp, the antique chair, those little things you always wear not with. I'll smash your face, the radio, those little teacups from the nose. Your wacky paintings on the wall. Down in pencil, I'll smash them all. That was now 397. Order yours online at now 337.com for five easy payments of $22.99. Children probably don't wear eyelashes unless they're going up for Tyler's and Tierra's, but I was wearing falsies by the age of eight. It explains a lot, I know. So I'm gonna continue the tradition and put on falsies right now because of course I am. You all saw that coming. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. I saw, I saw your lashes. And wow! All right, now that the eyes are done, let's do some lips. I wanna do purple. I wonder if Angelica ever told Cynthia about wigs, but Cynthia had a look going. It was a good one. Remember Pete and Pete? I hated that show. Yeah, let me trash Nickelodeon. What can I trash? We keep talking about how much I love it, but there are definitely things I did not love. I didn't love that by the third show of Nick at Night, I knew it was bedtime. It stressed me out. During the summer, I watched Nick Jr. Even when I was like 12. Because it was the only thing on and I refused to watch any channel but Nickelodeon. That much. I was that dedicated. So if anyone from Nickelodeon is watching, sponsor me. Alright, now I'm going to mix it with, of course, some sparkly lip gloss and some... To me, it just looks like a tube of 90s. It's like iridescent and holographic and... Like, it all looks purple from what I can see on camera right now, but in person there's like yellows and pinks and greens and blues and violets and it's crazy in a tube. It just kind of looks like a gloss. Unless you like really make it thick. It just kind of turns into a gloss. That was really, really disappointing. We got a purple sparkly gloss. This is purple rain, purple rain. Is that the 90s or is that the 80s? Dang, that's pretty. Lips and eyes, done. Let me swap the things we did not end up using. He loves me. Oh, oh, so shiny, oh. We got smashing, yeah. Also quite shiny. We got rar. Okay, rar leaves a little to be desired. Disappointed in you, Reptar. We got football head. That one's pretty chalky looking. And then with my last available digit on this hand, hi-ho diggity. 
That one's nice. That one's nice and even and smooth. So we got those, and we got these. Not bad for an eyeshadow palette from Hot Topic. I feel like this is what Helga Pataki would do on date night if she were a grown up. I mean, I know it's kind of hard to picture because I don't have the whole Helga getup on, but just like close your eyes and, and try to imagine for a second. Actually, you know what? Step one. Step two. Oh God, how are we gonna do this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know if blondes have more fun, but we do have more split ends. Look at that. I should have been a hairdresser. Now take a quick look here. We're almost there. I'm pretty close to this. But there's one thing missing. You know what it is. My eyebrows a little uneven, but I can't get away with the sisters twins metaphor here because I just have one. This is my peak level of beauty and my peak level of 90s. Well, I might as well give up now. I'm never gonna look cuter than I do in this very moment. Wouldn't want this coming off. Helga Pataki, single and ready to mingle. football head, but look at your hair, girl. He can't help what his head shape is, but you, you can help all this. That's what I think. This is my Halloween costume for this year. I know it's only January, but I'm calling it now. This eyebrow has so much power. Like someone can see your expression a mile away. Can I do the wave? No. Oh, almost. I'll work on it. <laughs> Elevator going up. Am I really gonna put this on the internet? Well, that's my video for this week. This palette somehow became an excuse to turn myself into this. This was not part of the plan, I swear. I went into this 100% thinking I was just gonna do a glam tutorial on some nice makeup using a palette that may or may not suck. But then I found this bow while I was looking for scrunchies and Claire's, and well, you know the rest. I feel like this is my best look from the 90s. Wouldn't you say so? 90s grunge, 90s supermodel, 90s Helga date night. If my dog's an alien, please leave a thumbs up. If you're happy you don't have to brush these things out of your head, leave a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And please hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button until it says that you will be receiving a notification for every upload. I know, I know, it's what the subscribe button used to do, but now in order just to get notified that I've uploaded, you have to hit the bell, sometimes twice. So make sure you check that. Some people are telling me that they're really glad that I'm back or they thought that I stopped making videos because they aren't being notified of my uploads. That makes me sad. I upload once a week, except for that brief disappearance in November. That's the video for this week. I will see you again next week, and I'm gonna go brush out my hair now. But I'm leaving this. I am leaving this. It will be here next week when you come back. Bye. Bye.